So is there a single app that will allow you to have Google as, a, as your search engine set on your television or to have Facebook on your television uh, which allows you to browse, uh, um, I mean, internet as a web browser so easily that you can set up uh, any web link as your favorites and then watch uh, movies or uh, whichever is your favorite website you keep on, uh, I mean, uh, looking for on the internet very often. I mean, that's, that's, that's really one thing that can be done uh, through a single app and we're going to cover that on, in this very video. So uh, let's, let's start I mean, with a demo. Let's say I have just got Google set up as my search engine. Uh, let's say I want to search something. Let's say Asia Cup 2018 cricket. So I just click on that and you get live score here. What's happening? So Afghanistan is batting. Uh, this was yesterday's match. Uh, and today's match will happen at 12:30. So, so th that's that's easy. I mean, um, I mean, similarly, if you want to search anything on on the internet, you can just type in here, uh, and that will let's say let's go to BBC Weather. So it's it's so easy. I mean, it's like using Google on your laptop, right? So we'll come to how we do it, but let me give you a demo of Facebook. You, you, I've just set up Facebook link as my uh, under my favorites so this is my favorite section and uh, if I click on it Facebook opens I will just log in and boom it will work as 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 normal I just don't want to type in my details here because I don't want to disclose my account for, for sure uh, weather let me go to weather okay so at the moment there are more than 12 windows open so I need to close the windows so this app doesn't allow you to open more than 12 windows at a single time so let me now click on weather and here it is so if you want to go to let's say BBC weather uh, here it is okay so this will show you what's happening today tomorrow so and then let's say let's let's talk about Chrome uh, let's get a Google Chrome uh, installed on my TV so let me just uh, go to Google back and just search for Chrome so C H R O O what's happening? Okay, so I need to do that with my TV remote. Okay, sorry, so Chrome. So C H. Okay, so it's here. Right. So you can go there and Chrome as a web browser. You just go there and download Chrome, and it should download Chrome on your television. Uh, it will open in an app store but it's already installed on my machine so yeah, on my television so it's working as your computer so uh, as I said I mean you can how do you do it you just go to favorites go to add you just paste in any any link let's say I just do it for Google for use let me do uh, as www dot let's say what do you want to let, let me do Google again for you so Google google.com and that's the path you can call it anything just go up the name you can call it google I'll just call it Google demo just to show the latest one which I've added just to demonstrate it to you and I'll just click on add now you see within favorites if you come down you'll see Google demo it says invalid path okay so we know why it is invalid now the reason being I need to add HTTPS in front of it so so I uh, don't want to do it again let me add another thing so let me go and add H T T P S uh, come down colon I know I've not told you the name of the app we'll come to it very quickly but let me just demonstrate how it works first so that you know how useful it is we'll go into the settings as well very quickly uh, let's do yahoo.com yeah 
who oh, sorry i should have added www as well my fault so www dot yahoo dot com similarly you can do for gmail i should have done for gmail that's fine let me just copy copy paste and okay so it won't allow this in the name so let me take this out cut okay so it's it's called yahoo now let me add it okay so in your favorites again come down yahoo is added and it should open yahoo.com now right so similarly you can add gmail and everything i mean that's that's really easy you can go to your yahoo mail from here you can add yeah so it's here you can add enter your yahoo id and sign it as you do it on your computer similarly images uh if i click on images i'll, I'll just show you the settings first you just go in here take out recycle bin so that will not send anything you delete to uh, recycle bin but it will be deleted permanently and root explorer should not be checked and these are the settings you want would you would want to do uh, on your television then for downloads you can create a folder here wherever you want your things to go in what if you download something within your favorites you can click on add and click any url or any web page that you want to be added as I've done for Google, you can do it for any any website you want. I watch TV, movies for free, so I've taken this link and I've just added into my favorites. I can click on any movie. Let me very quickly show you how how it works. So bear in mind it it would it would okay. So you can see boom, the movie is working, but there would be ads on it. Oh, I just clicked on it. It's another ad. How do I go there? Okay. So yeah, but you saw. I mean, so there would be some ad pop-ups. Uh, I mean, wrongly I closed it. But yeah, you can see it does work, right? So you can go again. You can watch any other movie. Just click on basement. It will open up. Just click on it. It works. All right. So it's, it's, this website is called youwatchitfree.tv, I guess, but you can search it. But I mean, there would be a few ads popping in initially, but you can close them, right? And you can enlarge them from here. I don't know why I can't see it. But if I click, another ad will pop up, so I don't want to do it, right? But similarly, I mean, you know, I mean, whatever you could do on your television, uh, sorry, on your laptop, you can do it very easily in here. So how do you do it? Let me go out to the home page. This is a Sony Android television uh let me come out and this is called es file explorer okay if you click on that the same setting will come up so how do you get that the easiest way if you have an android television or if you have an android tv box you could you can go to the google play store and you can search for es file explorer it should be within the top free apps list and if it is not we can type in here it's here so es file explorer file manager so i have installed it already so it says open otherwise for you it will show up as install once you've got it installed it will show up on your home page in here and from here you can go in you can add in your links whatever you want to add in your settings let me let me quickly go to settings and just quickly show you what all other options you should be setting it to so display settings clean up okay if you want to clean up cache clean history things like that pretty usual stuff 
directory setting where do you want your bluetooth share path where do you want your download path whatever your photos videos you download where should it be going in your television search engine settings i've set it to google here you can select anything else so anything you search in here that will go in there so that remains as google uh notification settings password settings pretty usual stuff apps if you want to back up on uninstall whatever <clears throat> you can set it up from here uh download manager if, uh, again disable ds download if you don't want to download anything the usual stuff yeah so post in your comments let me know what difficulty you faced while getting this app on your television it should work on any of the smart television android television you have uh okay so the movie is playing now right okay all right okay so not a good movie to watch definitely uh let me just quickly close it uh okay okay let me let me know your thoughts i have done a lot of review videos of a uh, useful app for your television uh let me know if you have any questions in the comment section i'm very quick to respond to them uh subscribe to my channel do visit my other videos on my channel which might be useful for you uh all right okay thanks for watching thank you very much bye bye